Hi everybody, my name is Ed Morris, I'm Technical Manager for Artechnic. Before we start this video today, make sure you hit subscribe, because once you've done that, you'll be notified of all the content that we upload to our YouTube page. Now today, we're gonna to take a look at our Dynamical, which is a dynamically controlled radiator valve. What we are gonna do is take a look inside the valve, have a look at some of the components that are in there, but I think first of all, it's important to understand what the valve does and what key features it plays within the system. Now, one of the big issues that we have with balancing secondary circuits or tertiary circuits, which is your radiator circuit, is the issues of imbalance. Now, we can all set our system as best we can with standard TRVs or whatever you may choose to do it, but what happens is if there's a change on the system, it becomes unbalanced. That means that there's more or less water going to certain heat emitters or radiators, and that can cause real problems with imbalances. It can have issues with return temperatures. So we have to try and find a way to overcome that. And that's where the dynamic L comes in. Now what the dynamic L does, it works what we call pressure independent. So it's sort of like a pressure independent control valve and it turns every single radiator into an individual zone or individual circuit. Now what that means is if any change in the system should a radiator be closed off or, or more flow added through a radiator, it won't impact any other radiators on the system that have got a dynamical valve in, uh, in, inside there. So it controls pressure, it controls flow, and it can control temperature. And all those features are key to making sure that the system remains balanced, especially on things like low temperature systems or low temperature networks, where we wanna make sure that we get in the most flow or the exact flow through every heat emitter to make sure the system's balanced, these are really good for that. And on the top of here, you just remove the cap, you'd standardly have a, uh, a TRV head on this, so a thermostatic radiator head, but in here is how you set the flow. So simply each one of those numbers refers to a flow rate and then you can balance your radiators once you understand what your flow rates are. So now let's take a look inside the Dynamic L radiator valve. So now we've got a cutaway of the, of the Dynamic L, we can take a look at what's inside the valve and it's actually quite simple for all the really clever functions that it carries out. It's actually quite simplistic inside. Now this is, is the pressure independent cartridge. Now there's different variants of this um, and it's actually removable in, in one complete section. So in here we can control flow, we can control pressure and we can control temperature. So to control the pressure, we have a, a diaphragm inside there which reads what senses what's going on in the system and it'll automatically adjust to make sure it stays at the set point that you left it to. You can just about see inside here, there's different openings and that controls the flow. So we looked previously Obviously we have these numbers which sit on top of the head. Each one of those equates to a flow rate. So we'd set it to the flow rate, that changes the open or the arbiter that's inside the valve. That then will regulate the flow which goes through there. And temperature wise, we would stick a, tan a standard thermostatic radiator head on there. So that then would sense the room temperature. So we talk about controlling the flow, but we also got to control the temperature. So we'd modulate the temperature which goes into the radiator to make sure it's at a comfort level that we've set. So from the inside of it really, there's not much to talk about apart from the cartridge and all the functions it carries out. So O-rings, piston, flow, uh, flow arbiter, and then your setting ring on the top. And it really is that simple inside the Dynamic L thermostatic radiator valve. So thank you for watching today's video on what's inside a Dynamic L radiator valve. I hope you found it interesting. Now, if you want any more information on this valve or any other valve in our range, visit our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk. Thank you for watching.